Hello, good evening. This is John Ruman. I am with the Sales Training Academy with the real Roger Moore in Trinidad and Tobago. And what you track grows. I'm going to go in deep depth with this today. So check out this live. So in life and in sales, people don't realize that what they are giving their attention to on a regular and consistent basis within their brain with a lot of emotion, their brain will find evidence of that. So what I've done is I've written down a few things and I'm specifically talking about when it comes to actual sales, but we can talk about it from many perspectives. So your brain has something called an amygdala and what the amygdala does is act as a filter. It's in part what they call the lizard part of your brain, the little more primitive part of your brain. And what it does is when you actually get excited positively or negatively, it could be uh, watching a scary movie and feeling that and on your way home you see and hear things or you get excited about how well things are going f in other certain ways of your life. Hey, Natty. And you begin to feel better in that regard. It really doesn't matter. But the point is understand that what you pay attention to, hi, Samuel, with focus and emotion, you're body will find and filter more of that in your experience. So I'm going to give you two prime examples how this actually is directly impacted in your life. So actually three examples. One is money. The wealthy, the, the wealthiest people in the world on a daily basis will track their finances. And a famous author on the, on the topic of wealth, T. Harv Eker, as well as another gentleman who's big in the world of um, wealth and abundance and prosperity mindset, they actually track their wealth on a daily basis and they've talked to a lot of people on the upper echelons of wealth. And they, they give it the analogy of tending to a garden. You don't plant a seed and then just sit there and pray, say, please, dear Lord, wouldn't it be great if that, that plant grew? Nah, you water the plant. You may pray over once it's growing, but the point is on a regular and consistent basis, you water the plant. And if you view your finances in that way, what you track will grow. So I'll give you another example. Weight. Many people have a real, real challenge in losing weight. And one of the biggest and probably the primary things they do not do on their regular and consistent basis, and here's how I would encourage you to do it, is weigh yourself daily. Go to the scale, stand on it, and say, what am I weighing? And what that will do is provide a level of personal accountability for what you are doing, and it will automatically, as you begin to actually experience progress and, um, you know, doing well with it, you'll get rewarded. But here's what people do, especially when it comes to weight, and money. When things go slightly good, they stop and then they get back their old habits. So you have habits that kind of run your life. And these habits, when they allow them to run, can get reinforced in one direction or the other by you giving them a tracking device. So when you weigh yourself every day, you will give yourself a level of personal accountability. It may feel crappy in the moment. The important thing is to say, all right, Obviously, I made some decisions in the past couple of days. <laughs> Disney the worst. But here's the thing. When you hate weighing yourself, Tha Ono says, I hate weighing myself. But the important thing is you do it daily. And then when you weigh yourself, and, and maybe you do it once a week, but consistency is important. But there will be water weight changes, at least for when it comes to weighing yourself. And But recommit. Say, okay, I've obviously made some choices that may have caused me to have additional fat gain or weight gain. And my overall progress is in the right direction, but I'm going to recommit to moving forward. So I would encourage you to check out your money daily, tend to it, see what's going on, see what you can do to increase the cash flow into your life. View money as a current. So the stronger and more fast moving the current, the more wealth and prosperity you'll experience. So and with uh, physical body weight, if you want to become leaner fat-wise, you need to weigh yourself daily. 
and you need to use that as an accountability and to recommit the days that you decide not to. Um, and last but not least, and this is specifically to sales training, is in sales, it's important that you track how many, how many sales you've gotten, so the total number of sales, the total dollar amount of sales, so kind of like it will end up being your dollars to you in the future, but it allows you to get excited about it. And, and again, when you give it attention, you ask yourself, and you should be asking yourself, maybe even verbally, out loud, how can I get more of this? Who can I be in touch with now and tomorrow that will get me more in line with that? So every day before the day is out, you plan your next day and say, I want to do a, a new habit to help me move forward with my sales. And tomorrow I'm going to check out, the, before I'm done with my sales, what I'm going to do to get that. The owner says, I'm moving my dollars to buying into shares. Is that a good way to grow? That's a financial question. And I'm not really talking about how to do that. But so here's the thing, Thaono. If you, on a daily basis, watch your finances and give it attention and get excited. And when you get your paycheck and you're, you're, you have your, let's say, preset things you have to spend, get excited about taking this 50, 20, 100, however much or more that you can afford to put towards the things that help you become more abundant. So while it's important to have something to save in, it's less important on the immediate front what the vehicle is. It's more important that you actually do it and you get excited about it. So because in the beginning, it's primarily you being you putting your money into it and creating the habit and excitement around it. So if you're in sales, that's tracking the number of people you called that day. Uh, tracking the number of appointments you set, tracking the number of sales you made that day or that week, and getting excited about it. So I'm going to talk real quick. If um, if this excites you, if you're watching this from a sales perspective, I'm having a course which starts this Sunday, the 15th. And let me show the countdown to that. That starts on Sunday, the 15th. It's a cold calling masterclass. So if you're in sales or any sort of sales you need to make phone calls. And this is our most popular module. So we chose this to be outside of our regular six part series. So in four out four days and a few hours, this class starts Sunday at 2 p.m. And and here's the uh, thing for it. this will help you out it has like the details. So what's important and I'll move this a little bit so you can see my beautiful face. Here I am is that when you make phone calls, you set appointments as opposed to getting, trying to sell over the phone. And most people are not confident in the phone. They don't know what to say. And we'll adjust, address that directly. So so let me go over some basics. So it's this Sunday, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m., St. Augustine, the REMAX Real Estate Group office. It is um, on St. Augustine Circular and uh, St. Or St. Augustine Circular and Stratham Lodge Road. So those that's the intersection. Uh, it's like two minutes from UE. And then um, the investment, total investment, that is 600 TT, of which 400 TT goes towards a six-week class. So if you're trying to grow your sales and become more confident and develop good habits. So sales, you're selling all day because all sales is is convincing somebody of what you want to do. And if they're not being convinced you probably could use some help. So if you're not convincing people in your life, you need training in sales. It's as simple as that. So come check out the class. We'd be happy to have you. If you're watching this on Instagram, shoot me a message. If you're watching on Facebook, shoot me a message and I'll get you signed up. I will have the link on Instagram and I'll have the link on this actual post on Facebook as well. So if you're watching this replay, you can check it out there. So thank you so much. Have an amazing night. The Ono and Samuel May, thank you for coming, checking this out. I appreciate you guys being here. Please share this with your friends. They all need to know how to grow their wealth, how to become leaner in their bodies, and in the end, sell better and get the word out for whatever they're trying to do. Take care. Have a great night.